Today we're going to be talking about something very important, the Fourth Amendment. Everybody knows what the Fourth Amendment is and how important it is, but apparently these gentlemen here do not. What does this picture look like to you? Does this picture not look like 1942 to you? That is a very weird picture of New Jersey. I didn't realize New Jersey was so far out of control. I really didn't. Let's go over the Fourth Amendment because it all has to do with unreasonable searches. We're taught this, or we used to be taught in school, the Fourth Amendment, that the government could not just come banging down your door, searching your house, your papers, your effects, just without a warrant. They need a warrant to do that. Well, unfortunately, this document has been burned up in New Jersey. New Jersey has sunk to a new low. The high priest in New Jersey, you know the high priest, the ones who are not elected, but they make the rules of the land. Well, the Supreme Court ruled in New Jersey, they don't need a warrant to search your car. So basically all it is now, what the high priest says, that once the police turns on the flashing lights, you lose your Fourth Amendment rights in New Jersey. Well, this is just unheard of. This is—I mean, I mean, we all—I guess we all knew this was coming. But when it finally gets here, when the police state finally comes and puts their foot on your head, it's shocking. Why? I got an idea. Why doesn't everybody in New Jersey just get up and walk out of the state? Just leave. You know what would happen if everybody in New Jersey just left? Well, they'd change the rules. They'd, they'd change their attitudes then. Because if everybody left New Jersey, there'd be no tax money to pay all these guys. So as I started to do a little searching into New Jersey, the more searching and the more research I did into Jersey, the more alarmed I got. I started seeing these pictures and I said, for God's sake, what does this look like? I mean, this is... You can't make this stuff up. Look at this. If this doesn't look like Nazi Germany, 1942, well, you're, it, nothing does. I had no idea that New Jersey had gone this far down. This is just scary. It's no longer anymore, can I see your papers? No. They've gone farther than... Can I see your papers? Now they say, bend over as I search you and I search your whole car. And no, I don't need a warrant. All I need is this badge, this gun, and my flashing lights. The high priest of New Jersey has spoken. I think there's only one, there's only one solution here. I really do. I know it sounds radical. I believe that everybody in New Jersey just has to sell their house or just walk away that's, that's one reason why you may not even want to own a house in this police state that we're living in. Now look at this. Tell me that's not Nazi Germany right there. Tell me that's not a Nazi uniform. I had no idea that Jersey was going in this direction. They're way ahead of the whole, they're way ahead of the police state. New Jersey is way ahead. Now there you go. That's that, that that picture does not alarm you. Now, what do these guys make? Do these guys make any widgets or do they make anything useful? Do they work? Do they sell anything? They don't do nothing but take your money. And But they say, well, we look really good doing it. Yeah, we look really good. But this is just when they're in their dress uniforms. When they really get serious, well, this is what they look like when they get serious. You could not pay me enough money to live in Jersey. You really couldn't. Somebody come up and say, Oh, Mr. Bravo, I'll give you a million dollars to live in Jersey. You know what? I might just turn it down. I mean, look at this picture and look at this picture of New Jersey. What would they I mean they would take once you even if they gave you a million dollars, they would probably come in your car and take it away from you. Come in your house and tell I mean, where could you hide a million dollars from these people? 
And then the, the farther I dug into New Jersey, I find out that they had a, over 200 officers caught in a steroid ring. It's really scary in Jersey. It really is. I didn't, I didn't know it came down to this. I mean, look at this. The pictures. I don't even have to tell you what's happening here. The pictures will tell you the whole story. I feel sorry for the people in Jersey. I, re I, I, I seriously feel sorry for you guys. It, like I say, I go back to that old thing. As the police state starts to crumble, you may not even want to own a house because how can you escape? How can you escape Jersey if there's nobody to sell your house? If you cannot sell the house, you cannot even escape Jersey. Look at this. It's really looking bad in Jersey.